Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number three in my MySQL series. And in this tutorial, I wanna show you guys how to select information from a database and then just display it back to you. So we're gonna run our first select query. But before we get started with that, I just wanna mention that uh, if you guys haven't done this already, then you need to go back and do this. Uh, so you need to download the SQL database that I have set up for you guys. Um, I did show you guys how to download this and import it in the first video. So if you haven't done that, you need to go back and watch the first video and do that. And then you can come back and watch this video. And uh, the next thing I want to talk about just before we begin this tutorial is uh, I want to send a shout out to my sponsor, Dev Mountain. So if you guys are trying to become a web developer, an iOS developer, or a UX designer, and uh, you're struggling to make that career change, I know that sometimes teaching yourself uh, code can be kind of difficult. But uh, if you guys want to speed up the process a little bit and become a developer even faster, go ahead and check out their website. The link is in the video description below. And uh, if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. Right, so now let's take a look at running our first query. Uh, so go over to phpMyAdmin and I'm just gonna zoom in here so that you guys can see everything a lot more clearly. Um, so I'm gonna make everything nice and big and uh, yeah, uh, if you guys don't really know much about PHP MyAdmin, uh, on the left side over here, we have a bunch of tables. So these are all the tables on our server and we are gonna be working with the learning over here table, which is the table that I set up for you guys. So go ahead and click on that. And now you can actually see, am I saying tables all the time? Sorry, this is a database. It's not a table, it's a database and everything within it is a table. So the addresses field over here, this is a table. Orders, that's a table. Products, that's a table. And users, these are all tables within my database. And if I click on one of these tables names, I can actually see any information that was that is within this table, right? So uh, now that we have gotten that out of the way, uh, let's take a look at a few more of these tabs up here. Uh, so you should have already seen the import tab when I showed you guys how to import the database into uh, PHP My Admin. So if you guys ever wanna import information into a database, you can use the import option over here. Uh, you can also export information out of a database using the export tab. But uh, yeah, this is not a PHP My Admin tutorial. This is actually a SQL tutorial. So I wanna show you guys how to write some SQL code. So let's go over, the, over to the uh, SQL tab over here. And uh, you can see that uh, when you have this selected, uh, we have an input box over here to type in uh, queries and it's quite s straightforward. So we type in a query, we hit the go button. If there's an error, our error will appear below here. And if there's no error, if our query makes sense, uh, it's going to display the information that we want to have displayed, right? So uh, what you need to do is make sure that you have a database selected. So in this case, I'm gonna click on learning over here. That's the database. And you can see that it has a purple background. That means that this database is now selected. So I can go over to the SQL tab and run a query. And so for our very first query, we're just gonna run a very, very, very simple query. I'm gonna type the word select. And actually we want that to all be caps. So here's the thing, whenever you work with running queries in SQL, anything that happens to be SQL related or SQL related, you're gonna type that all in capital letters, right? So make sure that the word select is capital. Then also, type the star symbol. So the star symbol over here in this case means select all, right? That's what the star symbol means. It means select everything. Um, and what I wanna do now is type the word from. So select star from, and then we need a table name. Uh, so basically this word from is always going to be followed by a table name. And I'm gonna type in the table name of users but I want that to all be small letters. So you're probably wondering, okay, why the heck is this all caps and this small letters? Well, uh, the reason for that is because this is a table name. I named the table. Uh, and so, yeah, this is not SQL related. This is me related because I named the table. And so because of that, uh, I'm going to type it in small letters and that way I can very easily tell the difference between what SQL 
and what's not SQL, what's actually my table name. So SQL stuff is all caps and the stuff that happens to be something that I named, uh, that's all going to be small letters, right? And then another question you guys might be wondering is what the heck these things are. So these are not single quotes. That would be a single quote. These things are backticks and the backticks are located next to the Z key if you have an English keyboard. So next to that button, right? Uh, right above the control key and next to the shift key. Uh, and you want to surround any table name or any table field that you uh, use when you run a query, uh, you wanna surround those with the Mac ticks. It's just uh, SQL standard that you do that so that SQL knows uh, that this is actually a table name, all right? So now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, let's click go. And you can see that we now have a successful query that ran. So this uh, box is green and it took 0 0.0002 seconds to run my query. Uh, and it selected everything from the users table. So we have ID names, usernames, passwords, user emails, first names and last names of every user in our database. All of the information is showing. But here's the thing, right? Sometimes you're probably not gonna wanna select all of the information within a database. Sometimes it's just easier to select the information that you find necessary to select. So in this case, let's say I only wanted to select all usernames and all passwords of uh, the people within my database. It's a lot easier for me to go back to the SQL tab over here and type the word select and then specify the exact fields that I wanna select. So like I said, I want to select the username, username, comma, and password. So if you ever wanna select more than one field out of a database, you need to separate the fields with a comma. Um, so I wanna select the username and the password from, uh, and the table is going to be users, right? So let's click go. And that is going to select only the username and the password from uh, my users table. And so now you can see I have uh, all of the usernames and all of the passwords from my table. I don't have any of the other extra information that I didn't need. So I don't have the email addresses and passwords and so on. So let's do that one more time. Uh, so I'm gonna go over to my database here and then select the SQL tab and type in my query again. So it's the word select followed by whatever fields you want to select out of your database. And if you do, if you are interested in finding out what fields are in your database, you can actually just go over to the table that you wanna select information from. So I'm gonna click on the users table. Um, it's telling me that I haven't made any changes, that's okay. Uh, but yeah, I want to go to browse or I could actually look at the structure. So I can see that in my uh, users table, I have an ID field, a username, a password, user email, first name, and last name. Uh, if I click on browse, I can see those same fields here, but I can also see what information is inside of them. So that's how I kind of get the field names that I want to select. Um, and something else I could do is uh, actually just click on the SQL tab while having only a table selected and you can see that I then have the columns showing up on the side of my screen over here. So now I know that there is an ID section or a username section. Uh, there are also buttons that I can click that will write a query for me, but this is a SQL tutorial. So I don't wanna show you guys how to use PHP my admin. I actually wanna show you guys how to write SQL queries, right? So instead, let's type the word select and I'm going to then put in the fields that I want to select. So if I was gonna select everything, then star is a nice shortcut. But if I don't wanna select everything, then I only wanna type in the fields that I do wanna select. So let's select the first name and the last name of everybody in our database so we can see who's here. So select uh, first underscore name, comma, and we wanna select the last underscore name from the users table. So anybody who is in uh, users, right? And if I wanted to add another field to this, it's as simple as adding comma and then typing the next field, which uh, we could say username, right? Um, and they will actually appear in this order. So for example, 
in the database, uh, they are in order ID, username, password, and first name and last name are actually at the bottom of the database. But I can make first name appear first by just specifying the order uh, in which they are typed, right? So uh, now first name should come before username because I typed them in that order in my query. So let's hit go. And now you can see we've got first name appearing before username, and then we have last name and we have username. Right, so now that you guys know how to select stuff from a database, I want to encourage you to practice playing around with this between now and the next video. So uh, practice selecting the first name, the last name, and the ID of every user, or try play around with the order that you're displaying these items. And um, yeah, once you feel comfortable selecting stuff from a database, move on to the next video where we will take a look at something a little bit more complex. And before I end off the video, I just wanna send a huge thanks to these guys. So these guys contribute $5 or more on Patreon every month, and that goes a long way to helping me make more videos for you guys more often. So if you guys do like the content I create and you wanna help me create more videos, then go ahead and check out my Patreon page. And now that I have sent them a shout out, uh, yeah, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like and share this video because that's really gonna help my channel grow and I'll see you guys in the next one.